this new girl, right? Hey, I'm Persephone. I just moved in. She thinks she's so cool because she's all Greek and stuff. So this is my Greek plate, and on it is my great, 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 great grandpa. I know, right? So here's what went down. It all started when those rumors went around that the Gauls were going to invade Rome. The Gauls are coming for Rome! The Gauls are coming for Rome! Caesar would never let that happen. Well, of course you would know. Know what? That I'm seeing Caesar. Duh. You mean like the salad? Do you guys hear that? Welcome home. Savvy? Is that the new girl? about you three around town already? A man being married hasn't stopped you, Flavia. How do you know my name? Oh, Caesar's told me all about you. Ah! Hey, you can't just come up to my friends and talk to them like that. Why don't you four come to my hummus party tomorrow and we can settle all this then. Good luck with your little schoolgirl dream, Aurelia. Um, actually it's reality, you slimy little toad. And how does she even know Caesar? You mean like the salad? How dare they? So I come to Rome, this totally unfamiliar city, right? And I try to be all nice and fitted and everything. And then they start accusing me because I looked at Jack for like, what, two seconds? I'm party Greek style. Ugh, why didn't I invite those other three? Ugh, I should have just told Jack to come over by... Ugh, here they are. Thanks for taking the time to come to my little party. Yeah, what? How greaky. Like, who does she think she is? Yes, saw? She's got her nose high up in Olympus just because she's from across the pond. Hey guys, come on in and take a seat. We're waiting for our other guests. I'm just going to go to the little mountain. Jupiter, I can't believe you dragged me to this party. You saw how much Constance wanted to come. We're doing this for her, not for anybody else. Yeah, because giving Jack and Persephone a little time is really helping Constance out. Come on! You know how oblivious Constance is. And, well, we can keep an eye out for anything that goes out of line. Just, just be on watch. And, you know the same, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. I guess you're right. And bro, to retest anyone? Um, so look, I was wondering if you guys could tell me some inside info about Rome, because you know, I'm kind of new here. Yeah, we noticed. Look, I'm really sorry about what I said before. I didn't know what I was thinking. 
Um, Hades, no, I wasn't sorry at all. That three-headed dog Flavia was totally framing me as being some sort of, I don't know, some femme fatale seductress, which I am totally not. And who is she to say something like that? She is such a hypocrite. <sighs> but on the bright side, a little pirate never hurt anyone. Yeah, whatever. Sweetie, look, we don't exactly like you. <sighs> yeah, I've noticed. Look, we're only here because Constance has this weird fetish for free comments. So don't think we're here to get friendly or anything. <sighs> oh, I won't be fooled. Guys aren't exactly the best actors. Right back at you, man stealer. <sighs> you guys are so not. It's a Greek greeting, my dear. Well, I see you know your Greek. Educated vagabond, you. And she's telling us to behave? She's setting herself up with a married man. Not like anything you haven't done before. Shut up. Why don't you sit down, Constance? Oh, Jack? Where's your mom? Now, this is my family's special made hummus from Greece. in my life. Eat up, honey. Don't be picky. So, Aurelia, what you reading there? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just something I picked up for like reading. I don't understand why you're into this academia stuff. Oh, it's such a man thing. Well, maybe where you come from, but not here. I mean, we went to primary schools with our brothers, too. My parents even hired group tutors to teach me stuff like arithmetic, Geometry, the sciences, astronomy, literature, history. Wow, that's a lot. Us women, Roman women, like to have independence and our own opinions. Well, maybe it would be better if you didn't. Okay, independence matters a lot here. Unlike you compliant group pansies, we've got legal rights, we've got intellects, we can own our own property, and we can ditch our husbands anytime we don't feel like making them another year of self. Honey, I'm a little stuff. Wanna go? Why, of course, little love. You little toad. I thought we were supposed to be on our best behavior. Not like it would make any difference anyway. That Constance's head is as empty as Pintora's box. Hey, you can't just go around mouthing off to my friends. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without him. What can I say? I was swept off my feet by the swashbuckling pirate that saved me from Persian invasion. Eh, Constance is a pretty nice girl. But sometimes I feel like she's just missing that little something, you know? That spice, just like the crucial little kick that you get before a nice bottle of rum. Savvy? Jack's my one and only, and I know I'm his one and only true love, too. You could say that I'm a pretty faithful guy. I mean, I can still look at the menu as long as I don't order. Savvy? Speaking of ordering, the hummus from that cute little Greek girl just shivered me timbers. I should go back for seconds. Stay away from Constance's pirate, you little horse tail. You guys are so overreacting, you really need to lighten up. As you said, Aurelia, it's Roman custom that 
Constance can leave Jack anytime she wants, which would work out even better. Why don't you have any sense of decency? Me? Why don't you talk to Flavia over there? Okay, I may be cheating on my husband, but that doesn't mean I'm backstabbing one of my best friends. And so what if I do go for Jack? He's a sweet, attractive- <coughs> What is going on? I know! So me and Jack were taking a nice romantic stroll outside. And then we noticed that Rome was on fire. At first, I thought it was a phoenix because I've always wanted to see one of those. But it was just a form of buildings on fire. Maybe someone burnt their toast. Oh, Savvy. The goals are here. The goals. They've arrived, Savvy. They're surrounding the city. Oh, Caesar, how could you fail me now? Oh, my God. Hmm, I think the four of us might just have to stay at Persephone's for a while and intrude on her unyielding hospitality. My villa is fortified. I don't mind at all. Well, Persephone, would you really be alright with that? That's so nice of you. Of course, love. Great. It's settled then. We'll be staying at Persephone's until the goals leave. No, I'm feeling faint. I need my smelling salts. Holy Hades, I thought I was gonna die right there. I mean, I can't stand being around that girl for more than a few hours, much less a few days. I don't even want to know what she has up her sleeve for Jack and Constance. I have plenty of extra rooms that you guys can stay in. Jack, let me show you to yours. Wait, don't you mean our room? Oh, um. No, I can, I can only keep one per room for, you know, safety reasons. Especially with the current situation with the goals and everything. Oh yeah, right! That totally makes sense. They can be watching out for us. Anytime. Next time on The Real Housewives Meets the World, is there trouble brewing between Constance and Jack? Jack! How could you do this to me? How come you made me think nothing was going on with your Persephone? I feel so confused. Will Rome ever recover from the tragic Gallic invasion? What's the matter with Jack? Find out next time on Real Housewives of Ancient Rome.